gang, it's your boy DRJ, man. I got a special video for y'all, man. Today, we're gonna do a Disney sponsorship with one person. Now, look, man, I am sponsoring with Think Zebra Business. Uh, if you guys could, man, I'll be showing videos and everything right here, pictures and bundles and price ranges and everything else like that. All you have to do is, um, I'm gonna put my grandma, it's my grandma's business. Yes, it's my grandma's business, y'all. Um, you know what I'm saying? She been doing this for over four years now. And the dates were to say, if it says February 2nd, you're gonna get it by February 2nd. She push and make sure everybody get their things correctly. All she do is ask for reviews, give her reviews, send pictures, you know what I'm saying? Just to help the business grow. But um, that's all I got for y'all, man. Um, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Hey, man, it's your boy DRJ, man. Like I told y'all, make sure y'all go check out my granny sponsorship ad. It's a video for y'all. Um, today, you know what I'm saying? Not even today, like 10 hours ago, we got information about um, the Memphis police video showing fatal be uh, beating on Tyree Nicholas. I don't know if I'm saying this name right. Um, I'm going to show you guys a video. I'm going to just give y'all just a reaction. But make sure you guys, please hit the like on this video if you made it this far. And this is all I ask for y'all to do for me, man. Is watch this, stay tuned, and show me some love. That's all I ask. But, man, let's get straight to the video. BC News Special Report. Here's Lester Holt. Good evening, everyone. We're coming on the air with breaking news. The Memphis Police Department has just released four videos showing the alleged fatal beating of 29-year-old Tyree Nichols by former members of the police force there. Nichols was stopped by police earlier this month for what should have been a routine traffic stop that turned into what authorities say was a deadly beating. Nichols was hospitalized in critical condition and died three days after. In my opinion on this whole thing, man, for one, I think, from my opinion, from seeing all this and going to all of the police crime and the death rates and all that, I'm like, why? He, he All he was trying to do is go home to his mom. He was trying to go see his mom or whatever he was trying to do. And the footage that I've been reading, um, his mom said that she don't want no f shootings in the city. No uh, tearing up the city. She That's not what her song stood for and stuff like that. And I'll show y'all more of this and I'll give y'all more information. But this video right here, when I watched it the first time, I was like, wow. Five black brothers doing crime on one black brother. That, that don't add up to me, man. For all the little kids out there, y'all, you know what I'm saying? All this, man. I just want y'all to know, like... People grow up to be cruel like this. Some some cops are cool. Some cops are just not it. You feel me? So from my point of view, as a black male, 19 years old, you know what I'm saying? And my view and picture of this is not cute at all. This is not cute at all. This is setting an example for a lot of things. But let's get back to the video. 5X. Memphis police officers are charged with Nichols' death. We want to show you just one of the officer's body cam videos the moment Nichols was pulled over. Let me warn you, the video is graphic and disturbing. Police have also edited portions of it. Here it is. Okay, 
I'm very emotional this video, man. Very that that that's something that that gets to me is when cops harass man whenever he's following the procedure as you ask. I'm laying down. I'm laying down. How can he turn around and lay on his stomach if you got your knee on his back and you got the taser to his leg? I yeah, that that really hurt my feelings for real. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, that is a, a one piece of video from one body cam. Uh, what will be uh, two altercations, we're told. We're going to play another angle of this for you right now. It comes from a police camera that's affixed to a street lamp. There's no audio here, uh, but it may provide more context and a broader view of what we're, what we're looking at here. Here it is. Okay, I see. He kicked him? Are you serious? You really kicked him? What is... Oh my god, bro, what is y'all? This is wild to me. You're going to kick him while he's on the ground? Like what? What nowadays with these? And you going to whip? Please don't whip him! Please, no please don't. Attached to it, but you can see the officers <laughs> crowded around and apparently uh, a prone Mr. Nichols. Let me bring in NBC News uh, correspondent Priscilla Thompson now. She's out with people who are protesting in Memphis. Uh, Priscilla, we expected that people would be very passionate, a lot of emotion attached to, to what we've seen so far. What are you seeing out there on the streets? Uh, certainly a lot of that lesser right now we are on interstate 55 protesters have taken over both lanes of the interstate you can see uh, them there they are chanting they are calling the name of Tyree Nichols they are calling for change we have heard them say to disband Scorpion that unit that was involved in all of this and these folks are are angry and they haven't even watched the video we were with them as that that video was released while they were gathering to protest and uh, many of them told me they didn't need to see the video they saw the photos and they saw the grief in the family's eyes and so that is why they're out here tonight and you can see there are 18 wheeler trucks that are backed up on both sides of the highway here as this protest has brought traffic to a standstill and this is not a particularly large crowd these are not uh, the type of crowd that we saw during the protest over the murder of George Floyd, but still they're having an incredible impact here. And I will note something that you don't see. You don't see a large police pre presence here. Uh, the Memphis Police Department had said that they didn't want to uh, overdo it. They knew that people would want to protest and they wanted to give people an opportunity to do that. And it appears that they have done so. All I have seen so far is a release from the Memphis Police Department urging people to avoid this area, this part of I. 55 but other than that these protests have been able uh, to voice their concerns and do so peacefully there have not been any confrontations uh, the trucks that they have stood in front of and held their signs in front of have have sat there and allowed them to express themselves because they're angry Lester all right Priscilla thank you for that uh, a lot for all of us to absorb and try to put into some context we showed you a moment ago the video from the pole cam the affixed uh, camera on a, on a street light if you will there is more to that video, and again, as we go to show it to you, it is graphic, it is difficult to watch, but here it is. And no audio, I should point out, on this tape. They're punching him? Punch him in his face? Wow. 
Why is y'all punching him, bro? All right, joining me now is NBC News legal analyst Danny Savalas. Uh, I mean, Danny, you... Like, this shit is very emotional, bro. Like, that, that shit really gets to me. YouTube might take this video down, but look. I ask everybody now, you know what I'm saying? This is all I ask for you guys, man. Now that these cops are, you know what I'm saying, they're doing this, you don't know what can happen to us black folks, you know what I'm saying? To us black, great, intelligent, brilliant men. Um, All I'm saying is, you know what I'm saying? Brain protection at all costs. I don't care what, what it is at all costs. Bring stuff like this, cause Tyree did not. He, no, you could just tell the guy by his the way he assembled his body whenever he was doing that. He was not doing no harm. All he was trying to do is get to his place. He would have just took a ticket and would have been cool with that. But no, further cops like that, and you know what I'm saying. I just. Memphis, I need y'all to march hard, because Cincinnati, Ohio, we're going to march hard. Every part of Ohio about to march hard. That's all I'm asking y'all, man. March hard, protest hard, push, push, push. Don't destroy the cities. Don't, don't show any damage, but protest to the best of y'all ability to get a message to the chief, the headquarters. But we need our president now to step up and give more, better protection with these cops. Because this, this right here, very upset me. You know, it's a very upsetting. But we got like two minutes, a minute and a half left. Um, we're going to see what the other guy says with the special report. You know, so they already gave us a lot of footage and everything like that within this video. So hopefully you guys, you know what I'm saying. Hit the like on this, subscribe, get us to 800, and let me know in the comments how you feel about this, and what state are you from, because I would like to get a Discord server up and hear you guys talk it out, because I make a video just hearing what you guys seeing, and, and if you're in Memphis, give me like your view of how, how the protest went and stuff like that. I need you guys to do that for me, but let's get back to the video. You can react, certainly, you know, as a person and as an attorney troubling all around. I mean, the initial stop, what we're seeing now is that his flight was not a situation where he was fleeing as soon as the police turned on the lights. It appears that he was fleeing to avoid a further beating. You hear him saying over and over again words like, you know, I'm, I'm doing what you want me to do. I'm lying down. Uh, and then they keep using force on him. And then you see from that poll cam, uh, the abuse just escalate. And what we're going to see in the other videos uh, in the coming days is the police standing around with their body cams on talking about what happened, claiming setting up their defense already that the, he was going for a firearm and nowhere in that video so far i think has anybody seen him going for a firearm especially in that initial stop when he's pulled out of the car and immediately put on the ground he doesn't prone out the way they want him but he is seated on the ground normally certainly running from police is, is usually not a good idea in this case he appears to be running for his life Exactly right. So when the initial reports were at, it starts at one place, he flees to another place. That could mean a lot, Lester. It could mean that he was using force himself and then tried to escape. But that does not appear to be what's happening in that video. It appears that the police are using force on him. He is using none in return. And once they start pulling out the taser, he's trying to get away to stop the pain, to Wait, stop just, the abuse. Just a few seconds, but how will this impact a trial? This, the, the, the fact this video will be everywhere, if not already. A video is devastating for the defense. Uh, also devastating for them is the way they stand around and appear to set up their defense when it's not apparently supported by the facts. Lots of problems here for the defendants. Danny Savalas, thank you for being with us. That concludes our special report. We'll have more on nightly news on the West Coast and on your late local news. For now, I'm Lester Holt, NBC News, New York. Good evening. All righty, man. That's the end of that video, man. You know what I'm saying? I give y'all the best. You know what I'm saying? The best that I can give y'all. But look, man. All I want to do before we end this video, before we end everything, look, I need you guys to bow your heads. I'm going to pray.
We're going to pray for Tyree's family and for him. So everybody bow your head. If you're watching this video, show some respect. If you're not Christian, I understand that, but please bow your head for him. Um, dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you look over his family while they're going to the court. Um, I pray that you give them the best, the best thing they need. Make sure them guys are locked up for a very long time. And I pray that you look over them. Not look over them. Look over his family with this trauma right here. And I pray that the protest from every part of the country or every part of the state is safe and not destructive, Lord. I pray that you help everyone with this protest and give them more strength and power than they got right now, Lord. And that's all I got for you, Lord. In Jesus' name, pray, man. Thank y'all for the people that bowed their heads when I asked. Appreciate all y'all, man. But it's your boy DRJ, and I'll see y'all guys in a minute.